happy Saturday morning to you. I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a rant. So if you're new here, great way to start on. But if you're coming back, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. You know, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button click that like and leave a comment below let me know what your thoughts are been going through a little bit of pain for the past three weeks and maybe it's starting to finally affect me and and honestly I'm just feeling a little salty and crotchety so there's that <laughs> uh, one nice thing I am sitting in my new chair my new editing chair because with back issues comes the need to have a good solid stable chair so I was not lying in my previous video when I said I want to get a TED Talk chair now I have. anyways today we're starting off with a fresh face I'm wetting my sponge by the way while I'm chatting because I need to put something over this <laughs> actually Today I am using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear and this is a Tati made me buy it so and I'll give you my thoughts on that <laughs> in a few minutes but let me just there's a backstory to this okay so I live an hour away from my job it's quite the commute every day two hours on the road to and from work I have time to in the morning listen to the news because I have series in my car. So Headline News or Fox News or whatever's on, MSNBC, because I want to know what's going on in the world and get a start to my day. And then, so I drive to work and my husband works very close to me. So I drive in, he drives home. When we're on our way home, I check my social media because it gives me an opportunity to, you know, see what's going on in that aspect, in that realm of life. And I was on my Twitter feed the other day and I follow Raw Beauty Christie on my Twitter feed and she had you know what let me look it up because I I was just like what how did society come to this let me see if I can find her there she is <sighs> okay I can't find it now but anyways it basically had something to do with the fact that she eats meat and I guess she was being attacked by some people who are vegan and she's been on this diet where she she's on the keto diet and you eat meat on the keto diet it's a protein based diet I'm just going in with my foundation <laughs> while I'm talking to you but so they had all the apparently I don't know whether it was multiple people or whether it was, you know, just one person in particular that was going after her. And normally I would just be like, I would pass it off. But <sighs> I've been in crotchety lately. So it just stuck in my craw because I've noticed that people seem to think that it's okay to just attack people anymore like this is my point of view and my point of view is superior to your point of view and you're just less than because you do this or you're less than because you do that and you know my god so what you're telling me is <laughs> because someone has to eat meat, which is something that people have done since Cro-Magnon all the way through to now, that eating meat is an evil sin. And you know what? You're going to hell, sinner, because you eat meat. I can tell you this, and this is my own personal rant, so you can take it for what it's worth, but I'm a grown person. And if you want me to do something that you feel is a superior lifestyle or a better lifestyle choice or a better choice in general, if you come at me like you're a bad person, you're evil, you eat meat, how dare you? How could you do that? Do you know where your meat comes from? Do you know what happens here? Do you know what happens there? 
and it's cruelty to animals and they're placed in these horrible conditions and you know what yeah I know where my meat comes from because it is plastered all over the internet many many videos on slaughterhouses and stuff like that and people love to share them and you know what okay that's fine if you want to watch that and you want to live that lifestyle god bless you more power to you because i would never in a million years consider telling someone who did not eat meat that they were going to hell because all they did was eat plants and they're ripping plants out of the ground and that's harmful for our greenhouse gases because plants provide oxygen and honestly it's it's it has nothing to do with the whole vegan thing i could care less if somebody's vegan i could care less if somebody eats meat whatever what i care about is the fact that somebody feels like they have the right to get nasty with another person because of their choices in life if you think the choices that i make in life are poor decisions and you want me to see your point of view as the better option this is what i think you should do you should say you know i understand that you eat meat and i respected that decision however let me show you why i chose to be a vegan and i can tell you my testimony about what it's done for me in my life i can tell you that i've lost 800 pounds or I have become more healthy or it has energized me or whatever the case may be. If you come to me and we're having this conversation and you say I, I can't make you do anything but I can give you examples of what I think because of my experience and my research I am 100 times more likely to sit down and A talk to you about it and B potentially jump on board that lifestyle then if you come to me and you're like bad 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 i, I just I, I don't understand it when i was growing up back in the 18th century i can't remember having somebody it seems to me that prior to social media that was the way that people came across more often than not you didn't have these anonymous people in social media that were just trolls that would go at you and be like you're just a terrible person you're doing this wrong and you you should whatever because they didn't have that anonymity they had to come to you and talk to you face to face in order to get their point across now i know just personally working in customer service that and I don't work in customer service anymore thank god but people are a lot more likely to get nasty with you over the phone than they are to do that in person because they think they're however many miles away and if they're pissed off they're gonna tell you what they think and you don't have any recourse whatsoever the likelihood of you showing up at their house to confront them is zero you're risking losing your job and you're risking all of this other stuff you know so they'll tell you what they think and they'll be nasty about it and that is what is starting to occur or has become prevalent excuse me in society now and i'm using the vice palette okay so i'm not sure if you can see all of this creasing in my forehead that is from this because i haven't really changed anything that i've used and i don't know why it does that but that foundation creases on me like crazy and it is not full coverage or even remotely close so if you have perfect skin it's probably full coverage if you don't i just want to point that out anyways working in customer service people are just they they can be complete a-holes but you know usually if you're working with a business that you deal with let's say you deal with 150 customers a day you're probably gonna get maybe 10 that are just really just like that kind of person the majority of the customers that you deal with are probably extremely nice and very decent people so just using that as an example however when you are in the social media space people can get downright nasty and what happens is is that they all start piling on like like a train like I can't say that I experienced that a whole lot only because of the fact that I don't have a lot of people who watch my videos but I see it on other people's stuff and it's almost like civility has 
completely gone out the window. It's as if people feel like they have the right to just get nasty with you because they're trying to get their point across. It doesn't make people want to hear you out. It doesn't make people want to join your side. It makes people mad and pissed off and hurt. It's like the old adage, sad, mad, glad. The initial thing is it upsets you. If I were to get a nasty comment, and I'm sure at some point I will, it's like if someone were to post something on my Facebook or my Instagram or my YouTube to the effect of, oh, you're such a fat cow and your teeth are all whacked. You look like you just came out of a hockey game. You need to go see a dentist or, or whatever the case may be. Those comments are out there everywhere because people feel like they have that superior mindset like oh i'm so much better than you because i do this or i'm oh so much better than you because of that you know what it's vapid piety if i am standing in front of you and i'm having a conversation with you and you tell me that you're a vegan or you tell me that you're a this or a that i'm not going to instantaneously judge you over that and i'm not going to start calling you nasty names and i'm not going to be finding you on social media and beating you up over it because because it's your choice. This is the beautiful thing about America. You have the choice to be whoever you want to be, to pretty much do whatever you want to do within your legal limits. You know what? You do you, boo boo, and and I will keep on doing me and we can be friends. You know, we can have that conversation. If I don't like something that you do, I don't have to talk to you about that. I don't have to hang out with you. I don't have to follow your social feed or watch your YouTube videos. I have that choice. I have the choice to watch what you do and subscribe to your channel, follow you on Twitter or whatever. And I have the choice to not do any of those things because I have free will and I live in the United States of America, which provides me that option. That being said, <laughs> If I'm gonna be that way to you, I just want you to respect me and be that way to me. It's the golden rule. Treat others as you would want to be treated. I don't think that's a horrible, difficult thing to do. I don't even know why I'm ranting about this because quite frankly, in the scheme of things, people are gonna be people and it's just very disheartening when I see how the world is going and I see that people are so unkind to each other. I deal with some people that are not very nice to me on a daily basis, but you know, I still will make the effort to say good morning or is there anything I can do for you? I hope you're having a good morning or I hope you had a good weekend or whatever the case may be. I, I try and make the effort because it, it just seems like it's so easy for people to keep that grudge and that rage and that ugh well, I'm never going to be friends with that person because they did this one thing to me this one time. Or that person, do you know what they said on their social media? Or, God, did you see that person's YouTube video? They are just awful person because they think this or they do this. It's so easy to keep that outrage because, honestly, I think people do it because it gives them something to do. But ultimately it stresses you out it makes you unhappy it just it, it creates tension and it, nobody comes out of it feeling better no one comes out of it feeling good maybe there's a moral to what i'm trying to say here and and that is sometimes it's good to settle down get over your outrage and kind of listen to the other side you know just be like okay listen i know we get off on the wrong foot or you know what? i'm not a big fan of the fact that you eat meat but I'm sure we have other things in common. I'm sure that we could get along on other planes. I'm sure that perhaps we've read the same books or maybe we both like superhero movies or maybe we are avid campers or go to the same places and know the same people or don't. And maybe you've been somewhere I've never been and maybe you've done something I've never done and I just don't have that experience and I wanna know what it's like. But how are you gonna know that? If you hold on to this rage thing or be like, I'm just not going to like this person and I'm going to just troll them because they do this or they do that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm using this vice palette. I think uh, you can't probably get it anymore because who knew? Yeah, everything's 50% off, everything's 60% off, whatever, but maybe you're just 
restocking with new products, new season, new colors, new this, new that, but no, they, they are shut down. And you can't get anything on that site, and you can't get anything on the Bad Habit site, and the Face Candy site is no longer available. Their subscription has ended. So good luck getting this palette, unless you go on Poshmark. If you do want this palette, I guess you're gonna have to buy the Kylie version, the purple palette. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but I'm gonna use this one because I bought it. <laughs> I'm gonna go into this color right here, hit it, because I actually probably should do my makeup instead of just ranting. And that's the thing, is I don't like ranting. I, I rant to my husband about stuff and then I get over it pretty quick because I'm just kinda like, okay, it's off my chest, I'm done. And then we move on and we have other discussions because that's what life's all about. But you wouldn't know it if you went on the internet. I saw another post the other day that just kinda caught me off. It was a video about the farmers in Nebraska and how they're losing many, many, many head of their cattle and their farmland is going to be devastated for the season's crops because they've gotten so many storms this winter. The tagline on that video basically was, you won't see this on Fox News or CNN or MSNBC. And I have to tell you, because I do listen to the news, it's absolutely true. That was not a big topic and has not been a big topic on the news for weeks. It's really sad to think that you have an entire population of this country that's going through some serious battles, taking a, a flattened, dense, fluffy brush, and I'm going into get down. But you've got a whole entire area of people out there who are really suffering and are potentially going to lose their livelihood, could lose everything they have, and all you see on the news is Trump Russia collusion and Jesse Smollett. Really? Because that's not all that's going on in the world. Who's heard a whole lot about the Yellow Vest movement in, in France or Venezuela, the Maduro deal? It's really scary how much news is being overlooked. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of going off on a tangent, but it really does have to do with the whole subject matter, which is we're so concerned about what other people do and giving other people a hard time and being nasty with other people because they are not doing what we feel like they should be doing. But at the same time, if people would stop focusing on their narrow little worldview and start getting the perspective of other people, first of all, <laughs> you know, show a little empathy. I certainly imagine that the Kylie palette probably blends out a lot better than this one does. I'm going to take some of that and run it under my eye. But not with this. I, I just see so much hypocrisy in this world that, you know, it just... It's one of those do as I say and don't do as I do kind of situation. I, I'm going to go in with this color, which is Kingpin, and I'm going to put that right here. Ooh. That one's actually really, really pretty. Okay, I'm not super keen on the patchiness of, of mattes, but I really like this color. This purple is not too different from the purple in my Makeup Forever palette. That one has a little bit more red. It's a little bit more of a red undertone. This one is, I would say, has a little bit more of a blue shift. But man, that's that's pretty. Ooh. I don't know. Tell me what you think. I mean, what are your thoughts? Because it it makes me sad. It, and and I'll tell you honestly, this is what makes me so sad about it is the fact that you've got a whole entire generation of younger people who are saying, you know what, I don't want to have kids because I see how the world is going and I don't want to raise kids in this society, in this environment, in this, you know, and they're not talking about the environment. They're not talking about greenhouse gases and crap like that. They're talking about, I don't want to raise kids in this societal environment. People are at each other's throats and I don't want to create 
angry children, I guess, for lack of a better way to put it. And when, when it comes down to the fact that there's a possibility that you might never become a grandparent because your children have decided that they don't want to raise kids in this society, we're doing something wrong. Oh God, I went from a rant about somebody posting a vegan comment on somebody's Twitter account. What's going on with the environment and the world and ugh, how do I do that? I swear to God, sometimes the older I get, the more that my brain goes. <laughs> I can't be the only one. I'm still not real happy with that transition color. This is going to be a long ass video. Tell you what. <laughs> I'm gonna jump off camera and do my eyeliner and my mascara on my brows and then and compose myself <laughs> and then I will see you with the finished look <laughs> Okay, so here's the finished look. I obviously threw on some eyeliner and, and mascara and a little bit of lipstick. Uh, didn't come out as bad as I thought. At first I was looking at it going, oh my gosh, it's really patchy and you know, but everything looks better with eyeliner and mascara. Just like your outlook on life. <laughs> okay, so I'm so sorry about the ranty. You know what? I'm not sorry about the ranty video. I sometimes just need to get these things off my chest. Okay, rant over. I'm not going to do this in my next video, I promise. But you know what? It's my channel and I can do what I want because I have the freedom to do that. At least right now I do. And, and that's why this is a great country. And it has nothing to do with makeup, so <laughs> get a hobby, people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you like the video. And I honestly want to hear other people's thoughts because I don't know if it's just me or not. So please leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about this because I'm interested. I want to hear. Like, I am not above listening to somebody who has a completely different viewpoint than I do. You know, I, I want to hear it. Convince me that I'm wrong, but do it in a way that I'm actually going to listen to you. Cool, 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 cool. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day. I feel so much better now, and I'm going to go find something constructive to do. Bye! Bye-bye-bye.